In Korea, the aggressor's challenge was met and turned back by the united forces of the world's free nations. Yet, in the backwash of war, there always remains a second challenge. The thousands of orphans, the millions of homeless, the countless villages and cities ravaged and almost completely destroyed. Today's big picture focuses on one such city, Seoul, the capital of the Republic of Korea. It is the story of a city twice the parade ground of communist troops, four times a battlefield. The rebirth of Seoul is also the story of man's enduring will to triumph in the face of the greatest adversity. In the past two decades, the face of disaster reflecting tragedy and despair has become a familiar portrait in every quarter of the world. With but brief pause, war's grief has touched and scarred the people of every continent. No longer is the soldier the sole victim of battle. A nation's cities and towns are now prime targets. The casualties, civilians. Despite the repeated experience of the miseries of war, mankind has learned neither to maintain peace nor to accept callously those who suffer most. 